This small video is for how to start the full pillars of heart failure treatment, looking into the comorbidities. It's very important to start these four drugs as early as possible, but few things you have to look for. Like for beta blocker, make sure your patient should be uvolemic and hemodynamically stable, having adequate heart rate and blood pressure with volume status. If approaching euphalemia with good blood pressure here, you can start with cautious. But if your patient is significantly volume overloaded and have poor perfusion, low pressure, that's not time to start beta blocker. Similarly, MRA, look for renal functions. If GFR above 30 and potassium less than 50, yes, you can. But if there is a background of fluctuating renal function and hyperkalemia, be cautious. If it's clearly less than 30 GFR and hyperkalemia, don't start MRA. RNA, again, GFR greater than 30, potassium less than 5, systolic blood pressure 100. But with cautious, if your blood pressure is borderline in between and there may be past history of hyperkalemia, so be cautious. But it's clearly hyperkalemic, low pressures, GFR less, don't start. Similarly, SGLT2, here you have a bit of liberty that even GFR less than uh, 30, you can start, but up to 20, 25, uh, be very cautious. Similarly, Potassium has nothing to do with SGLT2, but your patient is type 1 diabetic, GFR less than 5, history of the diabetic ketoacidosis, don't, don't, don't give. So these are the very important points for these uh, all medications. Hope you will understand and will uh, apply these in your clinic.